Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. In my previous video series, I talked about the IBS diet. Today, I'm going to talk to you about probiotics for IBS. Our gut, or intestines, has a rich environment filled with hundreds of different species of good bacteria. Before we're born, our digestive tract is actually sterile, meaning there's no bacteria there. When we're born, the good bugs, called our flora, start to enter the gut and set up shop and begin to multiply and increase in diversity as we grow. They help us to break down the food we eat and they also aid the gut's immune system to protect our body from bad bacteria that enter the body through our digestive tracts when we eat things. Recent research into irritable bowel syndrome has found that people who suffer from IBS have disturbed or different flora than those people who don't have IBS. That's why probiotics for IBS um, have, been, have been tried in IBS to help regrow and repopulate the gut with good bugs or the flora. Probiotics are very effective for some people in treating their IBS symptoms and I personally had great results using them with patients. My first patient and also my family member who I helped with IBS had almost a complete remission, um, so almost no symptoms after using the special probiotics I prescribed for her and she had relief from her symptoms for the first time in over 25 years. Probiotics have also been used to help speed recovery after gut infections like the stomach flu or food poisoning and have also been proven to work for this use as well and after antibiotic use too. The latest research found that Lactobacillus plantarum, this is a specific type of probiotic bug, greatly reduced all IBS symptoms and even normalized stool or bowel movement frequency in patients with IBS compared to a sugar pill or called a placebo in medical speak. So there's really good evidence for probiotics. So what are probiotics? They're good bacteria that have been put into a capsule so we can take them in a pill. You can also get probiotics naturally from yogurt, kefir, buttermilk, kombucha tea, and fermented vegetables like Korean kimchi, miso from a Japanese diet, and sauerkraut. It is also good to try to get your probiotics naturally from your diet in these things as well as taking the probiotic pills because food is also your medicine. So if you've never tried miso or kimchi, then give it a try. The three strains or types of good bacteria that are usually used to make probiotic capsules that are good for IBS are lactobacilli, bifidobacteria, and saccharomyces. These are big names, don't worry. I know they're big, but I just wanted to mention them so you know what to look for. Many probiotic capsules need to be kept cold in the fridge to stay active. So although you can find brands that you can keep on the shelf, they're often not quite as effective. A good health food store or holistic or natural pharmacy, pharmacy uh, should carry all of these products. Just remember to take them on an empty stomach. They work really well that way. They work far better than if you take them with food. Have you ever tried probiotics before? I'd love to hear about your experiences with them and whether they worked for you or not. So please leave a comment below and I'll try to respond to them in a future video.